So I'm sitting in a parking lot, a McDonald's parking lot, down the street from where I am finally getting my hair done. I've put it off. I think I, without exaggeration, I think I rescheduled four times this one appointment. It just kept interfering with doctor's appointments um, for IVF, and I think the last one even was scheduled on the day of the egg retrieval, and I just knew I wasn't going to be able to go to that, and so... I finally had it scheduled for today, and I can keep it, so I'm really excited about it. I, I did feel guilty this morning. I woke up. It was like I got out of bed, and I was like, it's hair coloring day. I was so excited <laughs> because my hair has been looking really rough. Um, basically, all the bleached areas look gray, and I was feeling really guilty about getting my hair colored because I am in my waiting period after my transfer, and I thought, well, let me look up the stuff that she uses. And it turns out it is like a vegetable-based color, and it is semi or demi-permanent. Um, it's no ammonia. It's basically the perfect stuff to use if you are needing to color your hair. Well, let me put it this way. If you're using clown colors, you know, like if it's coming out of like a children's paint box, one of those colors, it's fine. So if you're lucky enough to want to have purple hair or something, it works out. So I think I am going to go more, a little bit more lavender this time, if possible. That's where all of this started, and I never actually got to that point. So we'll see. Um, I don't know. I am just really excited to be getting it done. Yesterday, today is like one of the first days I've really put on makeup. Um, I didn't do my hair, obviously, but I just have been feeling kind of crummy and kind of letting myself feel crummy because I enjoy it a little bit. Um, yesterday, I was so crampy. It was almost alarming how much I was cramping. It wasn't painful. It was just super noticeable all of the time. And I'm, you know, I tried to be really conscious of not going, ooh, whatever I noticed it, or saying, wow, that hurts, you know. I just think that that's really annoying, and what is anybody else going to do about it? Um, a couple of times, Mike kind of asked me if I was okay. Maybe my face didn't look, like, I, I looked like I wasn't feeling well, and, I, and it was at one of those moments where I was having quite a bit of cramping. No spotting or anything this time, um, and the constipation is still kind of an issue, mainly just because I forgot to take the coles that I bought, so there was that. Um, but last night, I really slept poorly. I slept just like I did before my transfer the last couple of nights. Just can't really get comfortable, and um, I think that that's when all the stress comes out because I don't feel stressed and I don't feel worried, and I don't feel... Um, I don't know. It's really weird. It's almost like the second I go to bed and I close my eyes, it's like my brain just unleashes all of this worry and fear and stress and doubt. And <sighs> Mike has this uncanny ability to call me when I'm making a video or just like make a lot of noise and, and interrupt. It's really funny. Sorry, so Mike just called me just to see how I was feeling. I am feeling a lot better today. I don't have almost any cramping, which now now it makes me feel like I wish I did, but I'm not going to worry about it. But anyway, like I said, I don't know if any of you have this same thing um, ever, but basically I just can't wait for night to be over with because sleep is just not happening, not quality sleep anyway. And I just, all night, I'll wake up a couple of times and be like, oh, is it morning yet? Like, if it's an acceptable <clears throat> hour to wake up, I would, like, if it was close to five, I would get up. But it's always, at like, two or three in the morning, and I have to try to sleep some more, and it's just not happening. I, what sleep I do have is really just crazy dreams, or it's very lucid sleep, so I feel like I'm trying to talk and move around and stuff while I'm while I'm dreaming. It's just awful. So <laughs> I hope maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. I hope. I I can only hope at this point. And I'm just, I'm not trying to read into anything I'm feeling, um, which unfortunately I am not feeling anything today. But um, that doesn't mean anything. There are plenty of you 
who were crazy symptom spotters. I know, because I watched you. And then, you know, times when you got pregnant, you didn't feel anything at all. And you realized that it didn't mean anything to pay so much attention. So I'm, I'm just trying to be optimistic. I have a week from today to find out our blood test results. And I might test on day five, I guess. I don't know. I haven't tested any at all yet. It's just too early, but, um, I think I'll test before the blood test because it's just too devastating for me to wait for those results. Um, and usually, you know, obviously it doesn't go well, but today I think is day seven. I could be wrong. I'm so bad with stuff like this, aren't I? Some of you guys just know all your stuff. You could tell me the dates of every time you've ever hit a trigger shot. I'm just, I forget this stuff because it just, it, if it, if it what, wasn't a good result, I don't need to remember it, you know? But I think today I can go on my portal and see if any of my embryos froze, which I'm nervous to find out. I almost kind of like knowing that there's a chance that I have eight Frosties and that's all I need to know so I don't have to worry if this doesn't work because I have all those options later, you know? And I just, like, maybe that makes me feel more comfortable and more at ease, but I know I'm going to look because how could you not? So... All right, I am gonna go get my hair done now. Bye. So I forgot, one of the whole reasons I wanted to bring up, or like make a video, was because I wanted to bring this up. Um, and Lindsay hasn't contacted me yet. I don't think she can get messages. I just wanted to know if she wanted something to eat or drink or I don't know, anywhere between like here and where the salon is before I go in, but she hasn't, I don't think she's gotten my message yet. Um, but I have a couple minutes. I just want to say that I totally spoke too soon when I said that I thought that I avoided that air pain in my shoulders thing. Oh, yes. That was 90% of the reason I didn't sleep well last night. Aside from all of the horrible dreams that I was having, I had that trapped air feeling in my right shoulder. I think it's because I sleep on my left side usually. So that's just where it ended up traveling to. I don't know why. Last time I felt it in both shoulders, so I guess it's better that it was only in one. But it just was so much more concentrated feeling because it was just the one side, I think. And there, I you know, I couldn't really take anything for it. I can take Tylenol, but I didn't have any in the house. And at one point, I was really debating getting up. At, it was like 3.30 this morning when I checked my phone and I thought, maybe I should go to the store right now and get some Tylenol. But... I, the reason I just don't even have it is because I feel like every time I've ever had it and taken it for anything, it just doesn't work. So, um, I was like, why put it in my system if it's not going to do anything for me? But this morning when I got up, it's strange. I have to take a baby aspirin every day. I took it this morning and I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but I haven't felt that since this morning when I woke up. Um, and I remember it lasting a lot longer last time. So maybe I just didn't have it as bad, but it took... A while for it to happen. Well, again, I don't know if I remember properly or not when that happened. I thought it was closer to my retrieval than it had been this time, but yeah, I totally jinxed myself and had awful shoulder pain last night, but it's gone right now. So I'm going to just hope it's gone and I'm not going to jinx myself about anything else if I, if I can help it from this point forward. Okay, now I'm going to get my hair done for real. Guys, it's Carissa. It's late. It's like 10 o'clock or something. It's late for me. Um, when I got home, my sister and I hung out a little. She came over with her daughter and we went to dinner and went grocery shopping. And we laughed so much tonight that we were just crying. And if I ever cry with my contacts in, they get all fuzzy. So I have to take them out right now. So... Um, figured I would chat with you guys a little bit. Oops. Um, so, we just had one of those nights where we got the giggles so bad and everything we did. Of course, we get a lot of looks anyway when we're together, probably because we do laugh so much. But just stuff like that song, um, the Paul Simon song, you know, Call Me Al or You Can Call Me Al, whatever. It came out when we were in the yogurt section in front of this stern looking woman who looked like she'd never laughed in her life. And while, <laughs> while that song was on, my sister goes, oh man, this song makes me 
want to play the fake flute real bad. And I just lost it. I just, and then, sorry, I shouldn't do that in front of you guys. It's probably gives people the creeps. But, um, I just laughed so hard. And then, then the fact that that lady did not find it funny at all made it funnier. So, um, but I thought I should tell you that I did start getting cramping again today. I think that most of the cramping occurs later in the evening. I don't know if that's my ovaries going back to normal because today it was very acute. Like it was in my, um, it was in my left ovary specifically. I could really feel it. And, um, it gives me a little bit of hope because maybe that's not what it is. I don't know. I just, I feel like I need to, whatever, I'll just wear these. <clears throat> I have, I got new glasses. I have three pairs of new glasses and I had to get nose pads online for them on a website called nosepads.com. I don't think that's a site that I would have ever thought was real, but it's really awesome. It's actually, let me show you. I got a whole bunch of different kinds because I didn't know what I would want, and they were buy one get one free. They come in just like a little pack like this, but you could just stick them on because the plastic lenses, actually I'll put a pair on right now. See, those are, that's awesome because it's just like a little adhesive nose pad, and then you can just stick them to your glasses. And I haven't done it yet to these, so. Anyway. I did start to feel cramping tonight again, and some of it was kind of throbbing and intense, and some of it was just that dull, consistent, achy feeling. Um, and I just feel like I'd rather feel something than not, even though I don't want to also put too much stock in what I'm feeling. Um, the shoulder pain is still gone, thank goodness. I think I'm done with that finally for for this cycle. Um, yeah, that's much better. And I just feel this time what I'm doing, and it's not even on purpose or consciously, I've just been thinking like I'm pregnant. Like, um, like earlier today, a woman was sitting behind us at a restaurant and she had way too much perfume on. And it was a young girl and it was a very old smelling perfume for her to be, I don't know, it didn't suit her. Um, you would have pictured it on a woman who was three times her age, but it was so strong. And I thought, I wonder if you're just sensitive to that because you're pregnant. Like, because that's just the mindset I'm trying to keep. Not too excited. I'm not like picking out names or nursery colors or anything. I'm just trying to think like that's what's going on and not, um, you know, not get too excited, but last time I didn't think that way. Last time I kept just going, um, when's this going to work? You know, I, has it worked yet? Has it worked yet? Not frantic or panicky like that, but every, every time it crossed my mind, I kind of acted like it hadn't happened yet when the real science of it is that they make you pregnant and then it has to stick that way. You know, it has to stay. So I've been trying to just think that way and I think it's made a difference. At least it feels like it has because um, it makes me feel just kind of overall a little bit happier, but not like delirious and um, over the top expecting it to work kind of stuff because I just, my mind doesn't process things like that. So, um, so that's, it's been good. It's been good. It's only been a couple of days, but you know how these days feel. If you've done any of this kind of stuff, you know how it can feel. So, um, I haven't had any spotting yet still, and, um, I don't know that I really expect to, but, um, if I do just before my blood test, then it'll probably be, it would probably be like period spotting if it happened at that point. So, um, another thing that I'm not too focused on, but I just have, have paid attention to. And I tried to drink a lot of water today, and I don't think I drank nearly as much as I should have, but I think I'm going to just back off the Gatorade now, and 
I'm pretty sure OHSS is in the rear view. Um, I don't think I really got it and I'm very fortunate for that. So um, I know that in some ways I kind of feel bummed out like maybe if I had gotten a mild case of it, it would have helped things, you know, but then again, that just seems like crazy talk. Like, oh my, I wish I had gotten sick so that it would have made the pregnancy stick. I don't even know if there's any real truth behind that or if that's just something that some doctors believe, you know, so. <sighs> so I picked up some more of my medications today. That shot, the Lovenox shot, I did some research on it because it feels like, it doesn't feel like it actually happens. After I inject the shot, it only goes so far, okay? And then after I take it out, I call it the robot shot. I like joke that it's the robot shot because it has this big case around it. And then if you push it a little bit further, way more medication comes out. It's all pressurized feeling. And then um, the needle will pop into a casing. It's almost like it's creating its own shark's container, you know, like around the needle. So, <clears throat> I mean, I still put it in a sharps container, but all of the research I found online said that even though it's a little bit of a thicker needle, you want to almost not really pinch your skin and just put the needle up to it and just really slowly press it in. And in most cases, it usually makes it bruise more, but for some reason it's true. Um, I tried it the last couple of times, last two times, right? Yeah. And it seems like it doesn't hurt as much. And um, ugh, my eyes are so dry from laughing and crying. Um, <laughs> it was a good night though. I laughed so much. It was good for the soul. It was just one of those days where I needed the distraction and it was good. It was all good stuff. So, but yeah, so I have been do using that technique in case anybody ends up needing to try it just because I never really got any actual advice or instruction from the doctor's office or any of the nurses and they do have med training videos on their website but they don't have one for that. So I did find some evidence to support that both from like a med training doctor video which is really dry and they didn't even show the, the needle which seemed like it wasn't helpful and then one from a girl who'd been using it and her dose of ticket was a lot bigger than mine because her plunger stuck out a lot further when she first took it out of the package so I think that they must have it in different doses so um but otherwise everything else is going well and I uh, feel my my left ovaries throbbing right now and I am going to go um put some groceries away and go to bed so I don't know, it was kind of fun to talk to you guys today, even though I don't feel like I have that much to say, but um, it's a nice distraction. Thank you guys for your messages still. I'm still trying to make sure I get back to everybody. Um, I just, every time I get another message, it just warms my heart. So thank you. And uh, I'm going to call it a night. So I hope you guys are doing well. Bye.